Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space, and today we've got a bit of a different video. Alexis wanted to do a cooking video. And? Oh, you've decided to join me. Hello, Alexis. Fine. You have to come a bit closer, honey. Come closer. Okay, we're just voiceovering the first part of this video. You can video. see my dress. Yes, we can see your dress and your beautiful arms. We're just doing a voiceover to the first part of this video um, because I was cooking in the background and the sizzling sound was just too loud. So what are we making, Alexis? Hedgehog. Making some hedgehog. And Alexis is saying something. I'm introducing. Oh, she's introducing. What are you showing? What was that can? That was too quick. Oh, I was going to use it to bash it up, but you made me. Ah, oh, Alexis was going to bash up the biscuits with a can, but I decided the Vitamizer Ninja Bullet would be quicker. So what, did the, what are we crushing up? Biscuits. Biscuits. I will pop the recipe below. We make a few substitutions in the recipe, um, but you Do can... Do I like it? So Alexis likes it, and it depends what we've got on hand. These particular biscuits were cheaper than the ones we traditionally use, so we use these. They're the same thing. So these are milk arrowroot biscuits. You can also use Arnott's Mari biscuits. Basically any sort of plain, not salty, not like a salty cracker, but plain... Um, Sweet biscuits. I've even made hedgehog with leftovers of multiple biscuits. We can stop it in about six minutes. Yes, we can stop it when it gets there. So Alexis is showing the packets of biscuits. We're actually making a double batch. She's showing you now what is that? Condensed what? milk. Condensed milk. That's another ingredient. She might show you something else in a minute. Maybe. She's rattling on about the biscuits. What are you telling her about the biscuits? You can't remember. I don't know, you're the one who took the audio off it. Because it had crackling. I was making chicken tacos on the stove just near it, and I didn't realise that the crackling of the chicken would come so aggressively into the video. So at six minutes on this video, we go back to real time. So Alex is obviously talking about the biscuits in some reason. As I said, I'll pop the recipe link below. So Hedgehog, you can make variations and substitutions like we have, which is easy. Lexus is opening the biscuit packet. I don't know why we talked for six minutes about the biscuits. <laughs> you can't remember what you said? Now we're opening. You're what? Now we're opening. Now we're opening the biscuits. That's thrilling. Now we're showing that everyone the biscuits. Because maybe they haven't seen biscuits before. I tried to edit the video and put a piece on, uh, like text, please excuse the crackling, but then I decided the crackling of me cooking next door was too loud. So we're using two packets, packets of biscuits because we're actually doubling the recipe. I will put the single recipe below, and you can always double it. You can either crush the biscuits by hand, like you can bang them with a rolling pin or a can jar. You can also... Put them in the vitamizer. You can crush them up. Basically, we're doing fine crumb, but you don't want to totally obliterate them. Why did you take the biscuits out? You put them in, then took them out. Any particular reason why? Because you came out in to break them up. Oh yes, you have to break the biscuits in half. Yes, I remember now. You have to break the biscuits in half, otherwise they don't fit in the little pot because it's got that ginormous blade in the centre of it. It's a silly thing actually, but it's the only thing we have to work with. So. When we used to, when da, I used to, da, 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 da. can I tell them that childhood memory story of mine? Da, when da, I was Alexis's uh, age, excuse me, <laughs> when I was Alexis's age, we used to make hedgehog all the time and the best part of it was sitting there and crushing up the biscuits because every time my mother wasn't looking, I'd steal a biscuit. <laughs> I think Alexis does that too. You have to watch the video to see if she steals a biscuit. I think I she might. So it does take a while to crush up the two packets of biscuits because we have to... Did I just see a biscuit go in your mouth? I think I did. <laughs> no, you did it. I'll have to replay the video and have a look. I've got video evidence of you stealing biscuits if that was the case. Comment below if you think Alexis stole a biscuit a couple of seconds ago because I think I saw her take one. So the biscuits we do in batches and we show you this batch and then we come back when all the biscuits are crushed. I'll be back in a minute. I'm starving. You're starving. You've had Let lunch. Me that video makes me hungry. She's looking at a food video and she's hungry. She's 
already had a sandwich and two minute noodles and God knows what else today. I can hear the flowers. Yes. So we also cut out the loud vitamizer sound because you can imagine biscuits going around the vitamizer are very, very loud. So I'm just trying to fill in time until you get to the other part of the video. If you want to get back, you have to hurry up, Alexis. I've only got about 10 seconds and then the video is going to go back on to something. Oh, did you hear the elephant steps? You've got that much time to say, listen to the rest of the video. We've already said hello. <laughs> We've already said that bit. Listen to the video. Yes, we go into real time now. So sit back, relax, Daddy. and watch a couple of goofs in the kitchen. Set. Enjoy watching. Thank you. I'm back and we've got a whole bowl, a whole lot of. Vitamizer out. This comes later, but I'm this comes later, but I'm vitamizing the Milo. So this is the Milo that's gone hard in the tin, so we've decided to throw it in our recipe. Yeah. Well, you can uh, either use cocoa powder or Milo, but uh, well, we're still adding a tiny bit of cocoa powder to make it a bit more chocolatey. Yes. So this recipe is a bit forgiving. You can add stuff like this to it to use it up. Uh, that wouldn't fit in there. <coughs> that will fit in there. Okay, this will be rather... No, it still won't. It's still not small Just enough. break it one more time. I break that one. That one. Well, I break the bag. Well, that one more time. I don't like to waste things, so when Milo goes hard... We just crush it up. Yeah, it gets crushed up and put in its ketchup. As I said, I'll write out the recipe in the description box below. In case any of you want to make ketchup. Yeah, in case you want to make ketchup. And the ingredients. <coughs> and, yeah, the, the Milo won't be included in the ingredients, but you can substitute it. Yeah, for the cocoa powder, but still try and add a tiny bit if you want chocolatey one. Yes. Okay. Uh, this might be a bit loud and <coughs> yes, this because will... it's really hard. See what I mean? It bounced off. Hang on. Just... I want to do it. That's fine. Just hold your hand on the top so yes. it doesn't bounce up. Maybe I'll hold it. to make this mixture on the Oh, I will. That's why I'm pointing over there. I will, I will, but can I just <laughs> get the blade I'll take out? The I'll take the blade. <coughs> and this. Oh, and that bit, yep. We keep, I'll keep this here for now. So, so now we're going to mix up the hot part of it. We've done the dry part. <coughs> now we're going to do the hot part. What's the next step, Mum? Put the Milo in the saucepan. Oh yeah. And the condensed milk. Yeah, and is butter. that a pull ring or is that an I gotta open now? It's, it's a, a pull, pull ring. ring. Okay. Or you can open it using the can opener. Yes. Can I use the can opener? No, I'm gonna use the pull ring. I'm gonna use the can opener. Oh, okay, you can use the can opener. I'm argumentative. It's day what are we on? Day three of a two week so, holiday? Yeah. You need that in a 
minute. Okay. So open your condensed milk. So wait, that's the saucepan we're going to cook it in. And now I'm going to open the condensed milk. As I told you before, I'm a argumentative, so I want to use a can opener. Right way? Yes, if you start seeing condensed milk, it is the right way. Yes, it's cutting. Is it cutting? Yes, it's cutting. And with this, I don't need to worry about being in frame since this is small. This is actually pretty easy. Is it? Yeah. Mum's going to pick up the can lid. Mum gets all the best jobs, the gooey jobs that we come around to the end again. Yeah. Oh yeah, it sounds like it. Okay. Mum's going to get the can. Oh, oh you, you get the top off and I'll pour. The only problem is, Alexis, I don't think that's cut all the way around. I'll do it again. Yeah, it's not cut. Hang on, I'm, I'm going to be able to twist it. Okay. Don't do this at home, it's dangerous. Mum likes doing dangerous things. <sighs> no, it was just not cut in two bits and I can twist it off. There we go. Okay, hold that upside down, Alexis. So now I'm pouring the milk into it. And just make sure it's going in the pan. You can use a spoon to... <sighs> I just wanted to get taste some of the Milo. Tastes like Milo. Scrape the tin out with the spoon when you've got it in it. Cookies is some little monster eats half my bag of chocolate chips before they get in the cookies. Wonder who that would be. Yummy. Do we want to scrape it out? Yeah. And have then you can just scrape it out. This is called a spoon. That's going to go in the cocoa. Okay. Scrape it out with that one. That's alright, doesn't matter if a little bit of Milo gets in there. So we're just scraping the rest of the tin out. It's gooey stuff, condensed milk. It's yummy stuff. Your yeah, mum doesn't. Like it, like basically, if it stays in the condensed milk stays in here, it kind of goes bad. Well, you when Mum doesn't like to waste, so we do it. Usually, do a double batch, or we she makes we make one batch that with some more stuff that she likes, like coconut and stuff, and then we make my batch, which we make. I'm making right now. Okay. Sometimes we do one for each. Yes. You know, one bag for each and then half the condensed milk. What's next? Cocoa powder. Oh, yeah. Because we've got all the Milo in there, we're not going to put yeah. as much cocoa powder in, but usually put in two heap tea. Hey. What? Um, we'll, probably, we'll put in one heaped one. The cocoa powder is just to sweeten Make sure it's sweet enough. Yes. Can you just put one heap... Yeah, I knew that. I already said that. Okay. <coughs> one, one thing to learn about me. Never doubt me. I've learnt that. Never doubt me with maths or reading and cooking. Because I'm always right. <gasps> Yikes, that's going to be chocolatey. What? You said one heat! Oh, not that heat. Okay, it's going to be very chocolatey. You can make it... It looks like the Milo. Yes, you can just make it with the Milo, or you can just make it with... We like our chocolate. Yes. I've also made it with strawberry, not when you were alive. When I was a kid, I used to make it with strawberry Nesquik. Oh, uh, and... Um, yeah, Mum makes her batch. She uses different biscuits. Now... How much? We need... 900 kilograms? Not 900 kilograms. 100. 100. 
Um, we need, hang on, how much is there? We've 100 used, grams. We've, wait. We've used some of this. One, wait, 200 grams we've 50. used. Okay, so we probably need, we need about 125 grams of butter. So I I'm have just, an idea, we do 100 grams and a tiny bit more. Yes, okay, so where's 100 grams? grams? From there to there, is that? That's 100 grams. Yeah, so from there to there. So it'd be there. It's about half the block. Put in half the block, Alexis. Okay, there. Ideally, we should go get our scales and measure it, but nah. I don't do that when I cook. Watch your, watch your blooming fingers. <laughs> I was only doing that. Okay, yeah, well, you're right. It's come out of the fridge, so it's a bit hard. Wait here. Yeah, put your fingers on top so you can't squish them. If I can just get the side. What's this finger? Okay, yeah, can I? Here we there. go. Okay. I told you. Okay, do you want to cut this? Don't tell me. This one. Okay, cut that one into smaller blocks. And I know it... how to make hedgehog, Mum. I've made it before. Yes, yes, yes. I just forget the steps. Yeah, I'll put that other bit of butter in a Ziploc bag and we can use it next time. Wait, can I just get this? Stop. Don't mistake that for cheese. Huh. And cheese. Don't doubt you. Uh, one lesson to learn about me. Don't doubt me. Yeah. Reading, maths and cooking, don't doubt me. Cause, okay. And money, I'm always right. Do you, know the, do you know the reason we're cutting it smaller? Yes. What's... So it can melt faster. I'll go have a rest then. I told you. Don't doubt me in cooking, money, maths or reading, Mum. Yes. Anything else I might be a bit wrong, but I'm all but this is my best category. And money. You say what's fifty dollars plus a hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, I'll go automatically to a hundred dollars. But if you go what's hundred and fifty plus five fifty? Uh Okay, come on. If it's divided into money, I'm good at it. Our dinner's cooling over there. I'm hungry, I wanna go eat dinner. Is your wooden spoon. You said to cut it into smaller blocks. So that's what yes, I'm doing. That's fine. As you can see, we're using the paper to cut on, so I don't have to cut. I don't have to clean another cutting board. We're terrible at cooking out, Alexis. Okay, all in the pot. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll get rid of the rubbish. Now, yeah, we're going to stop it and direct it so it's over the stove so you can see it cooking. And it, when you watch it, it'll be like one video. But we're doing a few tiny ones. Mum, yes. we're doing a few tiny ones and then connecting them into a video. So that's why I said bye and then I've come straight back. How many minutes have we got left? I can't see. Ah. Uh, 12. Tw 13. Okay. Turn it off. We've done, this is been 12 minutes. Okay. Stop that. Bye. Thanks. I'm back and see as you can see it's directed over the stove. So you can watch us cooking it. And mum, can you turn it off? I wanted to light it on film. Lexus likes lighting the gas stove under supervision. Oh. You gotta hold the top one. I bought a safety one. The last one, you could just uh, flip a switch and it was turned on. There we go. Now you have to hold the yeah. top down. We just want it on low. You did it halfway between low and high, yeah. medium. We just want it on low so it, oh, don't look at my ugly stove. <coughs> so you want to mix that up, Alexis? I thought you were doing dinner. Um, dinner's done. I've just got to do the um, wraps. Well, why aren't you doing the wraps? Because I can't do the wraps in about 20 seconds before we're going to eat it. What? Oh. Well, I'm doing this. It's... So you don't want to let your mixture boil, so you don't want to bring it to the boil, but you want it to melt. Yeah. We'll have to wait a couple of seconds. So we'll, we'll come back when it's all melted. So you want your butter to melt, and we'll show you what it looks like when you come back.
So now where's Hi. it going, Alexis? Yeah, we're going to put it in the fridge, and as you can see, it's all messy. Okay. Mum's putting it in the fridge. Throwing some stuff around to put it in the fridge. See, it's all messy. <laughs> so it probably needs a good three to four hours in the fridge. And then we'll come back and ice it. Don't show them my messy <laughs> fridge. Turn it off. So now where's Hi. it going, Alexis? Yeah, we're going to put it in the fridge, and as you can see, it's all messy. Okay. Mum's putting it in the fridge. Throwing some stuff around to put it in the fridge. See, it's all messy. <laughs> so it probably needs a good three to four hours in the fridge. And then we'll come back and ice it. Don't show them my messy <laughs> fridge. Turn it off. Hi. It's Alexis and... And... And, oh, and Melinda. I'm allowed to talk now, am I? And we're... We'll, we're going to show you the end of the... Sorry, that's my hedgehog finger. video. Well, we're going to do it at the end of... This is the hedgehog being in the fridge. Okay. And we've had a taste of it already. No, if you moved it over here, they wouldn't have noticed. Yes, we have taste tested. So it's been in the fridge about 24 hours to set. And it's all hard. And it's all hard. And then you just... You right. can... Hang on. Can it's, I do something it's quick? It's hard. Like that. It's... You can ice it, which we usually don't because... I put it in the freezer for Alexa's lunchbox and the icing just goes everywhere. Yeah. So like it did with the cupcakes. Yeah. So you can ice it. So we're about to... Doesn't it look yummy? Sometimes we ice, ice half the home and the other half goes to school. What's it taste like? It's a bit hard because it's been in the fridge. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Chocolatey. Can I have a drink? Sure. Will you say goodbye? Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Bye.